After a long wait, it's finally time. The fourth and final part of the Evangelion series has finally landed on Prime Video like an angel in Tokyo 3. To prepare you for this last adventure, Prime Video's got the first three movies stacked and ready to be streamed online. If you don't have six hours to spare, then we've made this recap to give you a quick overview of everything that's happened in the movie so far. So get into the damn robot with Shinji, and we'll take a ride through one of the most influential anime of all time. Evangelion 1.11 You Are Not Alone Evangelion starts in a post-apocalyptic world. It's not what it used to be after what's known as the second impact hit. Nature was decimated, as was humanity. To prevent another scenario on this scale, the Defence Force Nerve was founded. And what did the big brains of Nerve do? They invented the Avers, giant robots that fly around and kick alien ass as long as they've got a human pilot inside them. Fifteen years later, an angel, the official bad guys of the series, appears on Earth and attacks Tokyo 3. Gendo Ikari, the commander of Nerve, summons his son Shinji. He's told to take control of Ava Unit 1 and defeat the Angel. I know, I know, not exactly the best father-son relationship you can think of. <laughs> Shinji follows his father's call and travels with Masato to Tokyo 3, but the pain's still deep as there's an accusation that his father left him alone three years ago. That's why he initially refuses to get on the Ava. But after another character, Rei, gets injured, Shinji completes his first stage of character development and enters Unit 1. The Ava manages to corner the Angel. Shinji shows impeccable fighting skills, and the Angel's killed. After everything's done, Shinji moves in with a character called Misato and tries to come to terms with his new living situation. <laughs> Despite his constant self-doubt, Shinji accepts his existence as a pilot of Ava Unit 1 and blindly follows the training sessions and orders. When the next angel appears, two of Shinji's classmates break out of the shelters to witness the battle with their own eyes. Personally, I'd probably abandon my classmates and run if a giant angel was on my back, but Shinji musters up his courage once again and attacks the angel. The angel needs to be reduced to ashes with a positron cannon. But first, Shinji must get back into the Ava. Depression strikes him. He's probably grown tired of the get in the damn robot Shinji memes. As a means of persuasion, Misato takes Shinji to Lilith, the second angel. For the battle, Unit 1's supposed to operate a weapon which needs the entire power grid of Japan to be shut down. But Shinji and his Ava have the perfect backup, Rei. Yep, that silent, numb girl Shinji earned a slap from. Rei assists Shinji in battle and the Angel's defeated. Don't forget, the power of friendship's always bigger than anything. After the fight, the two share a quiet moment of victory and the movie closes with Shinji gaining a new home, two friends, a guardian and a potential love interest. Evangelion 2.22 You Cannot Advance Turns out Avas aren't only used in Japan. Countries around the world are building Avas to protect themselves from a possible angel attack. That's how we meet Mari, who controls Unit 5, attempting to catch an angel trying to escape from a base. <sighs> Back to Shinji, who visits his mother's grave with his father. However, the father-son moment short-lived as another angel appears. Shinji's asked to take him down, but before he can lift the burden again, another Ava performs some air gymnastics and takes down the angel in an instant. The one responsible for this masterful performance is none other than the world's biggest sundre, Asuka Langley. After Shinji listens to the usual insults you've heard plenty of times in anime, Asuka moves in with Misato. In the meantime, the commander Gendo, that's Shinji's father, and his right-hand man Kozo pay a visit to the moon. Whilst they're away, another angel attacks Tokyo 3. Misato must take command and gets Rei, Shinji and Asuka to fight the angel. The three work together as a team, which is a miracle when Asuka's on your side, and they manage to defeat the angel in a climactic battle. After the fight, normality returns to the crew's lives for a short time. 
Meanwhile, Mari literally lands on top of Shinji in true anime fashion and the two get acquainted with each other. Rei wants to use this peaceful period to invite everyone to dinner, but things aren't that simple. On the other side of the world, the US base is destroyed by Nerve with Ava Unit 4. As a result, Ava Unit 3 is sent to Japan. Asuka is highly motivated to test out the new Ava, but the big test day coincides with the upcoming big dinner that Rei's planning for Shinji. The test run with Unit 3 goes horribly wrong as it's taken over by an angel and the only person who can stop it is Shinji. This of course means that dinner falls flat for him too. However, he can't bring himself to eliminate the Ava since the risk of injuring Asuka is too great. As a result, Shinji's father has Unit 1 taken over by a dummy plug, which you non-technical geeks know as an AI system, to destroy the angel and nearly kill Asuka. Apart from giving Shinji another mental breakdown, Shinji's father also earned the worst anime dad of all time award in a truly majestic way. Enraged by his father's decision, Shinji tries to storm the nerve base with Unit 1. Gendo, however, knows how to help himself. Asuka is recovered alive, seriously injured and quarantined due to possible contamination. Shinji faces his father, who accuses his son of a series of violations. But for Shinji, one thing's clear. Wait, I know you can guess it. So Shinji makes a run for it and even moves out of Misato's place. During his absence, another angel attacks the nerve base. This one's more resilient and powerful than any before him. Unit 2 faces the angel, controlled by Mari, who wants to wipe out the angel single-handedly. Mari has her own tricks up her sleeves. Unit 2's beast mode, which in anime terms, is like a rage mode. Rei tries sacrificially to put all her cards on the table and bomb the angel. However, this doesn't work as hoped and the angel begins to incorporate the lifeless Unit 0. Mari rescues Shinji from a destroyed bunker with Unit 2. The ex-pilot has to watch Rei and Unit 0 being devoured. Full of feelings of revenge, Shinji finally rejoins Unit 1, ready to do everything he can to save Rei. Boko. Boko. If you expected this movie to have a happy ending like the previous one, then it's the perfect stab in the back. Shinji and Unit 1 are out of control and in the process become a superhuman being that manages to trigger a third impact. At the last second, Unit 1's pierced by a spear thrown by this guy, Garvaru, with the help of his Ava. The destruction finally put to an end. Evangelion 3.33, you cannot redo. The third movie takes place 14 years later. Asuka with Unit 2 and Mari with Unit 8 try to recover Unit 1 in Earth's orbit. After Shinji triggered the near third impact, the unit was sealed and launched into space, which is once again a great decision by everyone's favourite father, Gendo Ikari. As expected, the recovery mission doesn't go smoothly. The two are attacked by drones that are supposed to protect the coffin. During the liberation, Unit 1 briefly awakens. This allows Asuka to bring Unit 1, which still contains Shinji, back to Earth and frees Shinji from his long sleep. A recovered Shinji learns that 14 years have passed, and since Ava pilots don't age, he and Asuka look the same as before. Moreover, Rei, whom he knows, no longer exists after the third impact. Masato has formed an anti-nerve organization called Vaya with ex-members of the organization. Unit 1 is used as an energy source for the giant airship Wonder. To prevent Shinji from getting any ideas, a bomb has been placed around his neck that explodes as soon as he tries to pilot an Ava. I know the original fans may not like this, but just wait, because things get even more complex. Their ship suddenly attacked and Shinji hears Rei's voice. He decides to travel with Rei after barely saying goodbye to the people who rescued him. At the nerve base, Shinji meets his favourite family member again, who expects him to pilot the new Ava Unit 13 with Gawaru. The two pilots spend time together and Shinji seems to build trust with the grey-haired boy. Together they visit the ruins of Tokyo 3 and Gawaru explains to Shinji that this is all Nerve's plan to reach the next stage of evolution. This includes the near third impact which was triggered by Shinji. Sometime later, Shinji is invited by Kozo to play a game of Shogi. There he tells Shinji that his mother Yui has become part of Unit 1's control system. Moreover, Rei is only one of many clones based on Yui. 
Shinji is visibly disturbed, like every sane boy should be, by all this information and the fact he didn't save Rei. To offer Shinji some security, Gavaru promises him that everything will be okay, which is funny as it's coming from the subordinate to the worst father in the world. You go. Go, go. Together, the two plan to do their own thing and climb into Ava 13. Since Shinji can't get into an Ava because of the bomb placed around his neck, Gavaru removes it and places it on his own neck. United in Unit 13, the two set out on a mission to reverse the near third impact with the two spears, Cassius and Longinus. However, Garvaru notices that something's wrong as the spears are unexpectedly the same. Things get worse when Asuka and Mari appear in their Avas to stop Unit 13. It doesn't turn out to be a very cheerful reunion and fighting ensues. Shinji, however, with all that character development on his back, removes the spears and connects Unit 13 with the angel that was locked in the abandoned Unit 6, waking Unit 13 and triggering the fourth impact. However, Garvaru stops the fourth impact by sacrificing himself with the spears. It's revealed that Garvaru is an angel himself, which is of course another big revelation to Shinji. <laughs> Mari manages to remove Shinji's entry plug from Unit 13 at the last second, and the fourth impact is stopped. At the end, we see Asuka pull a traumatized Shinji out of the cockpit. Understandably, Shinji is thrown into a depression, and this time, there seems to be no recovery. Together, with Rei joining them, they move through the ruins of Tokyo 3. So there's the recap of the rebuild of Evangelion series. Now you're perfectly prepared to jump into an Ava during the latest installment, Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.01 Thrice Upon a Time. But if you're new to the franchise, all four Evangelion movies are out now exclusively on Prime Video. Comment below with how hyped you are for part four and the grand finale, and hit the subscribe button for more anime content like this. See you next time.